Hello YouTube, my name is Trey, welcome to Working on Change, let me fix my tie. Yeah man, before we even start man, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to, if you don't, cool. And also if you want to donate, check me out here. Alright, so let's talk about Neo, okay? Mr. Neo himself. Boo, ba bow ba boo boo ba bow, bow DJ, I expect you to have that up and ready to go. Every time we do this, I don't understand why I have to keep going over this with you. You know, we've been friends for what, 50 years now? And I just feel like at this point, you should know what I want, how I want it, when I want it. You know what I'm saying? This no Spice Girls, you feel me? All right. Over the weekend, Neo appeared in the interview with Gloria Villiers for Vlad TV, in which they criticized the parents for allowing their children uh, to have a say in their own gender identity. From a DJ... See, this is what I'm talking about. Where's the music? Turn it down. Turn it down. Here you go. After much reflection, I like to express my deepest apologies to anyone that I might, I may have hurt with my comments on parenting and gender. Now, after a little more reflection, Neo decided to walk back his apology. This shit is getting out of hand, he wrote on Instagram. I will not be bullied into apologizing for having an opinion. DJ, cut the music. Let's watch the video. What's going on, loved ones? This is Neo. All right, listen, I normally don't give too much of a damn about what y'all think about what I do, or what y'all have to say about what I say, whatever. I normally don't care because, like I said, opinions ain't special. Everybody got one. However, this is something I feel very strongly on, and I need y'all to hear this from the horse's mouth, not the publicist's computer. So check this out. First and foremost, I do not apologize for having an opinion on this matter. I am a 43-year-old heterosexual man raising five boys and two girls, okay? That's my reality. Now, if my opinion offended somebody, yeah, sure, I apologize for you being offended because that wasn't my intention. My intention is never to offend anybody. However, I'm entitled to feel how I feel. I'm absolutely entitled to feel how I feel the same way you are entitled to feel how you feel. I ain't asked nobody to follow me. I ain't asked nobody to agree with me. I was asked a question, and I answered the damn question, okay? I have no beef with the LBGTQIA plus community whatsoever. I ain't got no beef with y'all. Do whatever the hell it is you want to do. Do what you want to do with your kids. However, somebody asked my opinion on this matter, and this is how I feel. I will never be okay with allowing a child to make a decision that detrimental to their life. I will never be okay with that. I don't care. I, I definitely plan to educate myself a little bit more on this matter. However, I doubt that there's any book anywhere or any opinion that somebody's going to tell me that's going to make me okay with letting a child make a decision like that. That's just period, point blank, and that's how I feel. If I get canceled for this, then you know what? Maybe this is a world where they don't need a Neo no more, all right? And I got no problem with that. I'm a hustler, all right? I'll figure it out. I got kids to raise, and I'm going to do that regardless. So with that being said... Y'all have a good day. I love everybody. Live how you want to live. Love how you want to love. But your opinion is yours. Speak your opinion as much as you damn well feel like it. Because as I said, they're not important. They're not special. Everybody got one and you're entitled to it. I'm entitled to mine. All right. Y'all feel how y'all want to feel. Have a great day. It's Neo. Peace and love. I had mentioned that in the last video. Sorry y'all couldn't hear that at the beginning. I had to turn it up for you guys. Uh, so... This is what I had said before. Didn't I say yesterday that Neo is a 43-year-old man? You got to stand on something. And then what did he also say in that video? He's a 43-year-old man who has five boys. What did he say? Five boys, two girls? Come on, man. Come on, man. Hold on. Hold on. Let me make sure I said that right. Hold on, guys. I don't want to misquote. Loved ones, this is Neo. All right, listen. I normally don't give too much of a damn about what y'all think about I don't want to repeat the whole thing. But the fact is, guys, he did got five boys, two girls, two girls, five boys. You know what I said, okay? It is great to see that this man is finally standing up for something. It's a beautiful thing to see. You know, I was really critical yesterday because I told you guys never to believe in these celebrities because they don't have any backbone, right? Some of them do, some of them don't, you know? And I said, you got to do this in the beginning. So it sounded like what happened with uh, Neo here is that his PR team came out, obviously, and made that whole statement, right? And he's saying that he didn't want to make that statement pretty much, that he wanted to, he said, let me hear from the horse's mouth. So he said, I'm not having no publicists come out and say what I said. So I'm thinking that he said what he said and the PR team immediately came out and did that without him really consenting to the fullness of the apology. So he came out and made his own video when he felt like it. Or either that or he saw the comments and he's like, what the? So 
proud of you for standing on something, man. That's what we need more of. You can never agree with this cult because when they start to bully you and all this kind of stuff and you got to b- walk back everything you say, I'm just tired of living in a world where everything you say is, I don't mind. Like, I- I'm going to say this. I-, I called out an individual uh, not too long ago about a Twitter post they made. Listen, I don't care that they made a Twitter post and I'm not expecting them to apologize. What I want is an explanation. That's where I think people become cowards. That's where I have my problem, right? If you say something I completely disagree with, protect trans kids or something like that, but then you delete a tweet or something, then I have a problem because to me, if that's what you feel, explain why. Come out and debate it. Come out and say something about it, especially if you have a huge platform. I don't like people who come out and say something and then they just act like they never said it. It's like, just go ahead and say what you got to say. And so with Neil, I got you got to give the man his props. You know what I'm saying? He stood on what he believed. He get, His PR team came out and he said, I disagree with that. He explained himself. And that's what I like. He said, yeah, if I did offend anybody, I apologize. You know, and this thing about being offended, everybody's got to be offended. It doesn't matter what you say. No matter what you say. If you come out and say, I love God, you're going to offend somebody. If you come out and say, I love Satan, you're going to offend somebody. If you come out and say, I like peanut butter, you're going to offend some people. Come out and say, I hate jelly. You're going to offend some people. It just is what it is. So I don't, it, it's not really ever about intentions. I think it's more about malicious intent. You know, if you're intended on it, it's to say, you know, I don't really care if these people get offended. You know, I'm just saying th- th- my peace. That's one thing. But if you come out and say, I want these people to hate me, I'm going to say this because I just want to be mean. I just want to be malicious. I'm not even really believing what I say. I just want to be mean. That's completely different. You know, and so Neo. You deserve the music, baby. Go ahead and play that for him, DJ. This is the music of a redeemed man. A man who came out not three days later, not four days later, but one day later. Play the song for him. Alright, that's enough. That's enough. They don't need that much. So, kudos to you, Neo. Hope you keep it moving, man. We need more men out here doing this kind of stuff. We need more men leading, more men that have backbones. And uh, like I told you guys before, I believe that we're starting to see a turn. We're starting to see a big turn into where people, and I'm loving it. I'm loving to see people finally come out and do um, standing up and not letting themselves be bullied by every little thing that you know who is saying. All right. Y'all have a great day. Peace.